Hi, this is Dr. Harish and today I'll be giving some a lecture on circuits. Yeah, this is uh, RC time constant, RL time constant. If you open the switch, it uh, falls down and then when you close the switch, it rises exponentially as e power minus r by l t. Then let's look at a staircase switch. This is a two SPDT switches and then when you close one it uh, holds there and then when you open one the other opens. So that's the circuit topology. It's two SPDT switches in tandem. This is a water level controller. Here the base current opens up and then that causes that circuit to have a amplified output. So this is an NPN transistor amplifying the output through the diode. This is the relay. You can see that when I close the switch, the current amplifies and then the current causes the electromagnetic flap to fall and then that opens the switch and you can uh, close the switch and you can see the current flowing through the LED. So that's the circuit. This is another relay circuit. When you open the switch, there is no electromagnetic force holding the flap and then that's causing the circuit to open. And I close the circuit, it causes the current to flow through the diode. This is an AC source and then at 1 kilohertz the LED switches on and switches off because it passes current only in one direction. Then let's look at a rectifier. This is a faulty rectifier. This is a full wave rectifier. This circuit has a full wave rectification and then there are four diodes and then the current exponentially rises and the voltage rises and then stabilizes at a rectified voltage. These are gates. This is an AND gate and then these are two AND gates. If both are on only, the current flows through the LED. So that's the gate. This is the AND gate here. And this is a transformer, 10 is to 1 transformer. The voltage gets multiplied by 10 and then it increases at the output at to 20 volts. This is a burglar alarm. When I open the switch here, the current flows through the lamp and then the base current is amplified and then that's how it works. And this is an op amp. An op amp has eight transistors. Uh, sorry, four transistors for the differential pair with the fifth one down. And this is a current mirror which balances the current in all three amps. And this is a voltage multiplier, voltage buffer. It, it amplifies voltage amplifier. It amplifies the voltage at the final stage. It's a two-stage op amp with the differential pair. And you get a gain of 15 dB as shown here. So that's an interesting circuit. And this is a Salen key filter. The filtering is uh, for different frequencies. For high frequencies, the amplitude reduces. And for low frequencies, the amplitude increases. So it's a low pass filter. And this is a 2 bit counter. You can see that the orange and green forms 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 at different clock edges and that's the 2 bit counter which keeps working always there are 2D flip flops actually I want to show you there are 2D flip flops and the 2 AND gates and an OR gate there this is a basic mixer it multiplies the 2 voltages then uh, that gives the output here and that's the mixed output that you see so this is a mixer topology which works this is a buck boost converter so this uh, MOSFET LED and then capacitor and inductor so the current flows loops through like this 
and loops into this circuit like this and the other circuit and I change the potentiometer for changing the time period and duty cycle we will get different uh, frequencies and then different output voltages so it is a buck boost converter and this is a call pits oscillator this uh, forms the RC time constant, RLC time constant and then you are able to get a call pit oscillator oscillating at the frequency of about a megahertz and this is a Hartley oscillator there is some circuit problem so it does not work an RC time constant and the voltage falls and then when it rises it follows an exponential curve as you see so that is all I had to show hope you had a good demonstration this is a water level indicator and then the switch falls it amplifies the voltage